In the video about Fuse, I explained to you how to configure Fuse. You can find a link to that video in the description. But we also know that Fuse is still in its infancy. So sometimes it doesn't always do what we would like it to do. I have been using Fuse Audio for my streams for three years now and the sensitivity bothered me the most. If you listen to loud music, the light is so bright that it just glows. If you listen to soft music, it stays dark because you have previously corrected the sensitivity so that the light reacts to loud music fancy. So I had to think of a solution which I would now like to pass on to you. But for this, we need a different device. Either we can solve this with a voice meter software, or in the best case you have a Go XLR and we just have to redirect the music a bit. The quick method is via the Go XLR. I imagine other mixers can do this as well, but of course it depends on each device and its features. Here's how I do it with the Go XLR. So let's say you are using Spotify because it's already integrated with Lumia Stream. Start a song so that the device is recognized and then go into your sound settings. Scroll down to advanced sound settings and click app volume and device settings. Find Spotify Music in the list and set the top drop-down selection to your Go XLR music device. Now you can adjust the music volume using your third fader on the device. But Fuse only accepts audio input devices. For this, we use the line output of the Go XLR. We connect a 3.5mm jack cable and connect the line output to the microphone input of our sound card, which is probably not used at the moment anyway. Then we set the routing table in the Go XLR software by marking line out in the music column. Now we have to sacrifice our chat fader. We set fader 2 to line out. Now you can adjust the volume in the stream and on your ears on the music fader and adjust the sensitivity of your lights on the line out fader. All that is left to do now is to route fuse to the microphone input of your sound card. Go to studio. Fuse and select your microphone device in Audio Input Device. Now you can control the sensitivity of your lights with the second fader of your Go XLR. Something I know you're gonna like. Set the vibe for tonight with RGB smart lights. Lumi is strange. Time to vibe and get in the mood. Alone or just with your crew. However you wanna do. All my streamers, YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch. Control streaming lights in real time. You can't resist so many styles and colors. Really, you won't believe it. Another method is to use the voice meter software. The banana version is sufficient for this. However, I would like to say right now that voice meter is anything but intuitive and you will most likely have to learn it first. We can't give a complete tutorial about the software here because it is too complex. If you only use it for Fuse, it is relatively easy to set up. In addition to voice meter, you will need the virtual cable, which you can get from the same website. As with the Go XLR, we need to redirect Spotify correctly. To do this, we go to the sound settings, scroll down and open the volume and device settings app. But now we set the top drop down menu to voice meter input. If you now open voice meter, you should already see that the levels are moving. Now set your audio output in the upper right corner under A1. This is probably your headset or loudspeaker. Under A2, you select the virtual cable. Make sure that A2 is activated under the VAIO slider. In Lumia Stream Fuse, you now set the audio input to the virtual cable. This should be called cable output. Now you can set your sensitivity for Fuse via the A2 slider in the bottom right corner. Something I know you're gonna like. Set the vibe for tonight with RGB smart lights. Lumi is strange. Time to vibe and get in the mood. Alone or just with your crew. However you wanna do. All my streamers, YouTube, Facebook or Twitch. Control streaming lights in real time. You can't resist. If you have a Stream Deck, you can also use the Voice Meter plugin and create volume knobs. Then you can individually increase or decrease the sensitivity from song to song. Also, this is an easy way to control the volume of any device you connect to it, replacing a mixer. I hope with this tutorial we could show you an easy way to use Lumia Fuse to the max. 
If you have any questions, just comment here or visit us on our Discord. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel and have a luminous day.